guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and welcome to my December faves. I have a lot of items here for you guys. Um, well, well, yeah I, yeah, I guess it's actually a lot of items, but you know, December was really busy. There was a lot going on in basically all areas of my life, and so, um, you know, I try to kind of keep up my witchy practice and my tarot and all that good stuff. Um, so I just like to share some of the things that I used in the month of December ending 2017. I almost said 2018. We're not quite there yet. <laughs> First, let's start off with like foodie stuff, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes this stuff isn't tarot related. Um, sometimes it's just basically my favorite things and the things that I used for, um, you know, that month. And some of the stuff is stuff that I've reused. I don't always buy new things um, because the budget doesn't always allow for those things. I love Nutso. Nutso is, let me just read it, it has cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, and Celtic sea salt, no added sugar or oils, has six grams of protein, it's gluten free. Um, two tablespoons is 190 calories. Um, yeah, it has eight grams of carbs, three of which are fiber, one of which is sugar. Um, it has six grams of protein. Um, it's really good and the ingredients list um, if you can see it on here is really small so I like anything with a really small ingredients list and um, it's just so good I just I don't really put it on anything I just like to eat it by the spoonful I usually, usually just have a couple of spoonfuls like if I'm having a snack I'll have like a piece of cheese um, and maybe some raspberries and then a couple spoonfuls of this and I'm gonna need to get more also speaking of things in the foodie department raspberries oh my gosh i have been loving raspberries they're in season and so <laughs> i've just been like very crazy lately i think uh we got some strawberries in in costco right now but i don't know i think the raspberries taste a lot better right now also in december these have been on sale and it is the ghirardelli uh peppermint bark collection so it's dark chocolate and it's milk chocolate I'm not a huge milk chocolate fan um, but in this form it's good so you got your milk chocolate you got your dark chocolate these are my favorites um, I gave a couple of these to every student of mine plus like a holiday pencil <laughs> as my little gift to them uh, when they left and I just had a few left over so teachers been munching on these teas and hot drinks department we'll start off with teas um, I've been loving the Republic of Tea pumpkin spice uh, if you caught me on that super 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 long live chat <laughs> this is what I was drinking um, until my tea got cold uh, because we're on there forever in a day but I liked it <laughs> so yeah this is delicious um, and I've also been obsessed with this month the sip and be merry also from the Republic of Tea um, Republic of Tea was having a thing where if you bought a certain number of cans of tea you got a certain number of cans of tea free plus free shipping um, so we are stocked up on tea until Armageddon <laughs> other hot drinks that I've been loving is the sweet double chocolate hot cocoa mix by my little girl hello kitty <laughs> um this one actually is not new like i didn't buy it this year um this is actually a few years old it's still good uh, but this was a gift from my boyfriend's mother um the last christmas that she was here with with us i don't drink a lot of hot chocolate but i've been making more of a concerted effort to drink more of my hello kitty hot chocolate before it actually does go bad so it's still very good. I do like to put little marshmallows in it and a little candy cane. <laughs> Talking about items that are not food related, I've really been loving those crates. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, I've got these giant wooden crates where I've been putting my herbs in and it's nice to have these three giant crates where now I can just like move the crates and easily access all of my herbs instead of them being all in one pile and trying to like figure out like where's this herb where's this herb it's just been a lot easier to access when I'm creating my salves my ointments my um, lip balms and um, sprays and you know, oils and everything that I use my my um, herbs and things for my you know magical practice so 
but yeah, I've been loving those. I've also been loving the Apple Watch. Uh, my boyfriend got me for our anniversary in November. Um, and I've basically, I mean, I have other watches, but I love this watch so much. I haven't used my other watches and I feel kind of bad, but like, I, I just really love it. And right now I have, um, see if you guys can see it. I got Mickey Mouse on there and it's five. <laughs> and he tells the time. I just really love Mickey. He's so nice. And there's a song that's been playing over and over in the month of December. Uh, maybe because it's been really warm this month. Uh, it again, it was a nice like 80 to 83 degree day today. You know, I'm in a t-shirt right now and I'm wearing some shorts. Uh, it doesn't feel like winter at all in San Diego. It's really dry right now. Um, so I've been giving the plants extra water. Uh, but I've been listening to the song Cruel Summer as sung by Ace of Bass. You guys remember Ace of Base back in the 90s? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I love their version of Cruel Summer. And so, um, I don't know. I've been listening to it a lot. And I've just been feeling like not really in a wintry vibe, but more of like a summery vibe. And again, that's just because the weather that we're having right now. So while everybody else is in like scarves and giant coats. And I know we've had a couple of cool days here and there where I have worn some scarves. But for the most part lately, it's been hot. <laughs> onto oils and things of that nature. If I'm gonna do a little psh, 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 <laughs> psh, 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 <laughs> self promotion, um, I actually truly have been using a lot of my fairy sparkle spray. Um, and I'm just gonna spray a little right now um, because I've been feel like, feeling really connected to the Fae lately. Um, I even, I've been trying to clean up my yard little by little. Um, Today I was working in the backyard and I was working on the raised beds. I mean, yes, the rest of the backyard is destroyed, but that little raised beds area where we're actually growing some of our food, I cleared out all the like debris and I cleared out all the dead stuff and, you know, kind of spruced it up a little bit. Um, and it seemed like the fairies really, really enjoyed it as well as the plants. So, and I like to commune with my plants and kind of talk to them and, and things like that. So. I've been really connecting to the Fae with my Fairy Sparkle Spray. I just kind of like, it like gives it extra oomph. I've also been loving the Yule Ritual Spray uh, provided by the uh, Moon Box, now the Witch's Moon <laughs> Box, or Witch's, yeah, Witch's Moon. Um, and so every day, multiple times a day, I'm spraying myself, I'm spraying my altar, and it's just, it puts me in that Christmassy, Yule, wintry mode, even if the weather outside is warm. <laughs> this other spray, which is like the, the seeing spray, the clairvoyant spray, also provided by the moon box. Um, ever since I got it, I've been spraying this continuously, and I don't know if you can see, um, but my water or my spray level is already down to here because I've been using it so, so much with the Yule spray, I'm already down to like right here. So yeah, these are getting tons and tons of use. Now, towards um, near the end of December, so maybe like a week or two, week ago, um, Sammy Menzo had created this clarity spray just for me, not spray, but a little um, infused oil just for me. Um, and ever since I got it, I've been taking the little dropper, putting it on two fingers, and I've actually been like rubbing it into my third eye and um, off to my temples. I don't know, I just felt really um, called to use it in that manner. A couple of times I have used it on my heart, uh, but mostly it's been like third eye and temples. So um, this gets used uh, twice a day. Okay, I'm also obsessed with my own salve that I made. Uh, I made them for Christmas. I made a, a huge batch, two cups worth. So um, I actually use, these are the tubs from um, the Moon Box. You know when they have their bath salts? Well, I took all the labels off of these bottles um, and I filled them with my salves for uh, Christmas and then gave them out as gifts. Plus I reserved a couple uh, for myself uh, so that I could actually use them, but um, it's got a wonderful coconutty smell and I can actually give you guys the ingredients if you're looking to making your own healing salve. So um, I took two cups of um, extra virgin olive oil, um, one teaspoon of echinacea, and these are herbs, uh, two tablespoons of comfrey, two tablespoons of stinging nettle, one tablespoon of uh, calendula flowers, 
one teaspoon yarrow flowers, one teaspoon rosemary leaf, mm. and then uh, I let that uh, simmer in a double boiler for three and a half hours. Um, the oil starts to turn kind of green, which is kind of cool, um, and it's really pungent of that rosemary actually and just makes the kitchen smell really good. So I let that cool off um, and set that aside. And then uh, in the double boiler, I put in um, a quarter cup of beeswax, a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil, uh, one tablespoon of my um, organic shea butter, one teaspoon of jojoba oil, one tablespoon of coconut oil, uh, organic coconut oil, and a half a teaspoon of my coconut essential oil. Um, and then that oil that I set aside that I had infused with my herbs, um, I poured it through um, a cheesecloth that was sitting in a strainer um, into a measuring cup. And then I take that measuring cup and then I poured it back into the double boiler so that it can mix up with all those other oils. Um, and then just as soon as everything was melted and looked good, uh, then I took it off the stove it back into the measuring cup and then use the measuring cup to fill all my little pots and things like that for uh, this healing salve and so this healing salve you can use it on your lips you can use it on scars bumps bruises um, because of the types of uh, herbs that I put in it um, speeds up the healing process so I probably wouldn't put it on open wounds but you know if you have something that is healing or scabbed over that's really good to use on it Plus all the other oils are very soothing um, and, and really good for like cracked dry skin, which right now it's really dry. And so this little pot's probably gonna last me a year because a little goes a long way because of all the oils in there. So like you could take just like a little bit, you know, and I could almost do my whole forearm with that. So it's really not a lot. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> Moving on to jewelry, so um, I made a few bracelets in December. Um, I still have to upload a few of those bracelets into my Etsy shop. Um, and the ones that I made, I only made one of each, so there will only be one of each of those for sale, so I didn't make multiples of them this time. Um, and then the other ones I gave away as Christmas gifts, but there's one uh, that I made for my good friend and I made for myself and that's this bracelet. So it is um, purple jade or lavender jade, and then this is amazonite, and it's just, I love the colors, and oh, it goes with my shirt. <laughs> you like it? Dark side, Star Wars, dark side since 19. 77 <laughs> um, but yeah and I love Amazonite it just has really soothing um, like energy to it and then the lavender I don't know it's just really happy I don't know makes me think of Fae energy as well like I said I've been in a really Fae type mood um, so I made some matching earrings as well to go with it um, so there you go and I bought some uh, earrings off of Etsy from a shop uh, called Laura Wingrove and uh, she's based in the UK and um, this will be in Sunday's video where I review the 80s tarot um, but these are the earrings that I bought and they're so 80s so cool I haven't had plastic posts since literally the real 80s so <laughs> that was kind of cool I received this in the moon box um, and I've been wearing it quite a bit actually today is the first day I'm not wearing this but um, it is the like uh, Kanaz rune and it means illumination knowledge things like that which is very fitting since i'm a teacher okay, and then i have one clothing item to share and you guys have already seen me wear it but i've been obsessed with this sweatshirt <laughs> my boyfriend got it from knott's berry farm and i'm kind of sad that maybe i can't wear it all year round or maybe i can and i can just tell people to f off but i know snoopy's got a santa hat but i'm probably i'm gonna wear it all year when it's cold I don't care because I love it and it's red and red's one of my favorite colors and I love Snoopy and Woodstock I mean who doesn't okay, as far as magical tools go I've showed off this wand before but I finally got to use it in some rituals and magical work and I don't know but there's a lot of good juju good energy um, and I feel just I don't know like my spell work just has extra oomph uh, when I've used it so I'm gonna continue to use this wand I'm not gonna neglect my other wand I'll continue to incorporate that but uh, this one which was you know made um, by a lovely woman out um, 
couple of states over, uh, we did a trade. So she got a deck of my cards and I got this beautiful wand. So I have my journal here and this journal specifically I've been using for Year of the Spellcrafter um, by Stella Sea Spirit. Um, and you can check her out on Facebook. Um, but I purchased her whole like Year of the Spellcrafter, you know, thing. And there's, uh, you know, entries that you put in once a week. And then there's card, you know, spreads that you do every time there's a new moon. Um, and so that's been all in here for 2017. And then I'll try to figure out what else I'm going to fill this with after 2017. But I want to make it special. I'm also <laughs> now finishing my Llewellyn, which is date book 2017. Um, this is the first year I've actually bought this Llewellyn thing. And I ended up buying another one for 2018 because I love it so much. And I love, um, you know, just all the information. Somebody's throwing hair ties at me. <laughs> that comes with these um you know and you know all the stuff that you can write in all the phases of the moon what's going on and all that good stuff essential oils to use so i've really been enjoying that and i've been using it all year long and i'm gonna finish it off for the end of december 2017. i have like some animals carved in stone and one that's not that I've been really obsessed with. I've been really working with unicorn energy. Um, and this is my Rhodonite unicorn. And this is a unicorn that I ended up getting for free at Michael's. Unfortunately, I didn't have a tree to put it on this year, but it'll definitely go on my tree next year. So it just kind of hung out in this room. Um, I'm always obsessed with turtles, but I found a couple of really cool little turtles to add to my altar. So I got this little glass turtle here and have this little opalite turtle and then i kind of work with elephant energy like maybe because like i work with ganesha but um it seemed really pronounced this month so i ended up getting a little rhodonite uh, elephant here and then this is an elephant i've had since um i first moved into my old house back in 1987. um and this I found this in the house that we moved into um, and I just I don't know I've kept it ever since it's really heavy actually so yeah I've been obsessed with one particular stone I've worked with a lot of stones in the month of December but there's one particular stone that I used over and over and over again didn't matter what I was doing or what I was creating um, and that is amethyst and so I have several pieces of amethyst in different forms this is the Actually, the amethyst that I got for Christmas. Now, just another piece of amethyst that I dig. My red cap amethyst. Amethyst sphere. Uh, my amethyst cacoxonite. Um, just a regular little polished amethyst. And green amethyst. It goes by a different name, but it's it's actually just green amethyst. One last thing before I completely sign off here. Um, I went in to go get my iPhone repaired, uh, which is what I'm using right now. It had a little hairline crack up at the very top. You would think that there was like a hair on the screen, which I initially did, um, but it looks like I cracked it when I dropped it on the salty old tile floor in my kitchen. Um, and I have three different cases. Excuse me. I now put my my better case on the phone so that when I drop it, it's not going to break. Um, and that's the first time I've actually like, cracked a phone. I usually take very good care of my phone. So I was like, Oh my gosh, I dropped it. So now it also has a, um, I forgot. It's like little protective, like screen thing, like on top of the, the screen so that, you know, it's preventing from scratches and things like that. But while I was waiting for my phone to get fixed, I went into a store called Tuesday Morning. Um, and that's a store, it's got like tons of different types of items from, you know, they're just like leftover from stores so they can, you know, put it at a lower price. Um, I used to go to the Tuesday Morning in San Clemente when I used to live there years ago. Um, so I haven't been into one since, but I saw some good items for the house. And first are these nice soft cozy towels um and they are made in turkey and let's see if there is a name on these these are enchante house <laughs> so there you go that's the brand um so i got 
couple of those. I also got a couple um, matching like hand towels and a couple matching washcloths. And they're also very, very nice, very soft and very clean. Our kitchen was in need of new um, dishcloths because the ones we had, I got back in the 99 cent store, maybe like 12 years ago, 13 years ago, and they're pretty dingy. Um, we have some Elvis Presley ones that are also pretty dingy that came from my aunt years ago. So I thought it was time to upgrade our dishcloths. So um, I picked these dishcloths up um, and these are the gourmet collection. La tea da. Um, I also grab these. As you can tell, I like all shades of blue. And then this one was only a, a single, but I like the butterflies on it. And actually, while I was out watering today, I saw a butterfly, which let me know that the yard was thankful for me cleaning it up a little bit. All right, last two items that I picked up at Tuesday morning. Um, this is a soap made in Italy and it's like a it says floral bouquet and it's really um, I mean I don't really have any fancy soap so I was like sure I'll pick up a fancy soap like why not and then this one is made in France and the smell is Pacific and usually when they say uh, Pacific it means it smells like a toilet bowl a clean toilet bowl no this one actually smells kind of beachy so it's pretty cool Oh, and I forgot, there was one more thing, um, and Wally just got out of it. I got him a little, like, scratcher box. So there's a little scratch pad inside, and you can flip this up, and it becomes, like, a carrier, I guess. But, um, <laughs> he gets to just kind of hide out in there and scratch, and that's where he's been sitting for most of the video. Dex. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, so I only worked with three decks in the month of December. Like I said, I've been really busy. Um, so I have been using the 80s tarot quite a bit. And I did a review of this, and you guys should see that on Sunday. There are the backs of the cards. Here are the fronts. Yeah, I dig me some 80s tarot. <laughs> Even though it's pretty pippish, I don't care. And you guys will be able to see all the cards on Sunday when I do the review of this. And it reads really well. It's cheeky. Um, the cards shuffle nicely. It's your standard tarot size. Um, but I love the colors. And I've been, I mean, obviously, like, those are my colors. Um, I've also been using Pam's Vintage Tarot. And this is usually my travel deck. And so today when we go to dinner... I will throw this in my purse. Oops. Try to get the glare off there for you guys. It's your Pam's Vintage Tarot. I love the smaller size. I love that the borders are all gone. I love the extra cards. I love the aged feel. I love the linen finish. I love everything about this deck. Lastly, I've been working heavily with the Victorian Romantic Tarot. So if I could say that I worked really solely with one deck, it was this one. I mean, I used the other two, but this one was the one that was in heavy use. Um, those beautiful gilded edges. There are the backings. Yeah, so we've been getting along rather well. Um, and I've been using it, I used it for my year ahead spread. Um, I've been using it for readings, um, for clients. I've been using it for divination too. And so, yeah. And this is a deck I invested in. All right, so that's it for me, spiritual homies. Let me know if you have any comments, if you have some of these products, if you just have a question for me, <laughs> put that in the comment section below. If you would like to catch a reading with me, um, go down into the information box. that will take you to my Etsy shop. Like I said, I'm gonna be adding a few more bracelets. Um, the year ahead, uh, Wheel of the Year reading is also in my shop, so grab that. Um, 
you know, for 2018, but that'll stay up probably um, a little ways into 2018, so you'd still be able to grab a reading there. Um, and let's see, I guess that's it. So if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell for more videos just like this. And I will catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.